though 2020 is officially behind us, and before we get started with today's beginner guide episode, I just wanted to thank you all for all the amazing support that I received in the last year. We've just broke 900 subscribers, which is honestly crazy to me. Obviously, none of this channel is possible without you guys, but I'm super thankful for that, and I hope you all had a safe and happy holidays. But anyway, we're going to get into our beginner guide. I believe we had just evened out our mission packs. I believe we're on mission 6 for both of them. We had to harvest 3 male snowshoe hairs in one hunt for our snowshoe pack, and I don't believe we had a look at the doll sheep mission. I kind of took a peek at it, and I already forgot. It's, it's harvest a male doll sheep and harvest a female doll sheep, and both of them have a specified weight that they have to be. I don't remember what that weight is, but I will update you guys when we get to that. I don't believe we're going to finish either of those packs in today's video, but I do believe that if things go well, we should be able to purchase our 300 rifle in this video, which is the next purchase that we've been working up to. So it should be good, I'm looking forward to it, but we're going to get out there and get some missions done, and earn ourselves some GMs. So I went back and had a look at our doll sheep mission, and we need a female doll sheep over 45kg, and a male doll sheep over 90kg, and I've actually already got the female. I was having some recording issues earlier, and I decided not to include that portion in the video. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and pop this male doll sheep and hopefully he breaks that 90 kg and gets our sixth doll sheep mission done. Might need a follow up shot on that one, he wasn't giving me a very good angle. I don't think that one hit. Not very good with the 243, I've noticed, but whatever, he's on the ground. We'll run over there and have a look and see if he's over the 90 kg. I believe I got a spot on him and his weight estimate was 85 kg to 115 kg. So very high chances of him actually being over that 90 kg. Which is good, because that'll be a nice extra 1000 GMs in our pocket. And we are actually getting fairly close to purchasing the 300 rifle. Which is a good thing. Not really sure where that bullet hit, I'm assuming intestines because I kind of just shot him right in the flank. Oh, we might have got some liver in there, he went down kind of quickly. Not really sure how effective the 243 usually is on doll sheep. Not a weapon that I use very often and it's also a species that I don't hunt very often, so... Not the greatest combination for that research, but... Regardless, let's have a look and see what we're going to get for a weight, and I'm thinking he's probably about 170s for score wise. 106 kg, so he's going to be heavy enough, and 178, 71 GMs, and that'll get that doll sheep mission done. So we'll pop over to the launcher and have a look at what our next one's looking like. Alright, so our next doll sheep mission is to harvest two doll sheep within five minutes of each other. And I actually believe we had a very similar mission with the snowshoe hair pack. I believe it was the exact same thing, just obviously with snowshoe hairs. And that'll be a nice easy 1200 GMs. So we'll hop into the game and go get that done. We're actually at 7800 GMs right now. And if I remember correctly, the 300 rifle is 11,000. So that's only about 3 missions to get that done. So that's very obtainable this video, so I think we'll definitely get that done. And that'll be pretty sweet, that's kind of the main goal at this point, and probably one of the only two main goals I've had for this series so far. So that'll be a pretty big achievement. But anyway, we're going to hop back into the game and go actually make those GMs. Okay, so we've got a little group of doll sheep in front of us, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot one of them, and then I'm going to see if maybe I can get another shot on a running one. I think we're gonna go try to get a shot on this guy here. That was not even the one I was trying to shoot, but it worked, and then that missed. If that hadn't missed, things would have been fine. Actually, yep, that was a good shot. Okay, perfect. That'll get our mission done. Because I'm pretty sure it won't take me five minutes to run from this one to that tree that's probably only like 60 meters away. So I think we'll be alright. 
I totally drilled this thing in the neck while aiming for the vitals of the other one. They kind of like crossed weird and this guy got stuck in the crossfire. Regardless, not going to complain. It worked. The job got done. Now we'll just run over here and grab that one that I smoked. That was a pretty good shot. I'm kind of proud of that actually. Is that him laying right there? I thought maybe he was more up by this tree, but maybe it was this tree here and he slid down the hill a little bit. Would make sense. Yep, that is him. Okay, perfect. And we'll go ahead and pick that up. Spine one and left ear apparently. Apparently, I can speak human English words just fine. But that gets our mission done. So we'll hop over to the launcher and have another look at what we've got for remaining doll sheep missions. And then I think we'll try to catch up on our snowshoe hair missions. Because we haven't gotten one of those done in a while and the doll sheep missions are starting to get away. Harvest a male doll sheep scoring over 160 points with 100% harvest value. That shouldn't be too bad, 160 is pretty easy to find. What concerns me a little bit is the 100% harvest value. I'll probably have to get under 100 meters if I want to go for that double lung shot. Otherwise my best bet's probably a neck bone or like a spine one shot like we did on those last two doll sheep. But it shouldn't be too bad, I think we can get that one done relatively easily. But like I said, I do want to go see if we can get our three male snowshoes and get that mission out of the way. And then kind of catch these packs up so that they're kind of in line. I kind of like having them evened out. So that's what we're going to go do. I think we're going to fast travel back to the North Lodge and kind of hunt that area for snowshoes. Because I do believe there are a few up there. Because I didn't see any when I went through the first time. And it's kind of unheard of for that area to not have any rabbits. So we'll go do that. And there's rabbit number one. That's number two. And that should be number three. Let's go grab him and see if that finishes our mission. And then we can pop back to the launcher and see what else we got in store. And 25 snowshoe hair. And... Yep, there we go. It's done. We'll pop over to the launcher and see what our next snowshoe hair mission is. And then I think we'll try to get that done. And then we might continue our doll sheep. And that should get us to the 300. So our next mission has quite a few objectives. Looks like it's going to be pretty easy though. Just we need to find a set of snowshoe hair tracks. Then another set of snowshoe hair tracks. Then some droppings. And then we just got to find one, spot it, and shoot it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get our first four objectives done and then I'll see you guys when we've got a snowshoe hair in our crosshairs and ready to be blasted and that'll be an easy 1200 GMs. So we'll go get that done and that'll get us one mission away from our 300 which is pretty sweet actually. I'm actually not even sure if these GMs have updated yet so this might actually be the mission that gets us to that rifle. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we got all our little side objectives done. Now all we have to do is pop this little rabbit here. But just quick, for those of you who might have some issues finding rabbit tracks, I've gone ahead and circled some good rabbit areas. I usually like to start with this one, and then I'll kind of run down it to here, and over to this area, and then if I still haven't gotten anything done there, I'll fast travel back, and then I come into this area. And honestly, it wouldn't be a bad idea to start here. This area is usually one of the better areas. If I'm being totally honest, there's usually quite a few rabbits in here. But we're going to go ahead and smoke this rabbit here for an easy 1200 GMs. And down it goes. We'll go grab that and that should complete this mission. And that'll put us very close to our 300 rifle. 1.4 kg. And that gets that mission done. We'll go see what we got next, but I think we're going to go do some doll sheep hunting for our next mission. See if we can find that 160, and that should definitely have us over our 11,000 GMs for our 300 rifle. And that'll probably be a good place to end this video off, actually. Careful with the choke. So it looks like we just got to harvest three snowshoe hares with any 12 gauge shotgun from over 30 meters. And of course our 12 gauge single shot will do just fine for that mission. So we'll go ahead and activate it. 
but I think we're going to go after our 160 doll sheep. I did actually check our GM's balance, it hasn't updated yet, but we do actually have 11,500. So we currently have the funds to buy our 300 rifle, but we're still going to go get our last doll sheep mission done quick. Just for the hell of it, I don't think a 160 will be too hard to track down. And that'll be another easy 1800 GM's I think is what that mission pays. So that's pretty sweet, we'll go ahead and see if we can down one of those. Okay, so we've located the ram over 160. Now we just gotta get a little bit closer and see if we can get a good drop shot on him. Still not really sure what I'm gonna go for to try to get that 100% harvest value. I kind of want to go for the brain, but I want to get a lot closer if I'm gonna try that shot. I don't think the double lung is the best option. Unless, again, if I can get pretty close, I would say it's probably reliable under 100 meters. Right now, I'm probably leaning mostly towards the neck bone shot. That shot works the best if he's facing me, though. And I don't think he's going to turn. I don't even see him anymore. He's behind that tree. And I feel like I'm going to slide down this mountain here pretty soon. If I try to keep scaling it the way I have been. Probably right about here is my guess. Where I'm going to end up at the bottom. Yep. Okay. Well. Still no sign of that sheep coming out on the other side of that clearing there. Hopefully I don't spook him. Oh, I can see him. I might try that shot actually. See if I can get a double lung. And bring him down. We'll give it a go. And that wasn't 100% harvest value. I should have got closer. I screwed that up. I knew that was a bad idea. But I did it anyway. I feel like that like that bullet sh looked like it was low. Like, I don't even think that was lung, to be honest. If it was, it was definitely single lung. But we'll have a look. I don't see him on the ground anywhere yet. I don't think he went far. If he went really anywhere. Well, I mean, obviously he went somewhere. He didn't drop. I know that much. Yeah, I didn't even get lung. I think I hit low. Where did he go, though? I don't see him on this mountain anywhere. Unless I'm blind, but I'm... Pretty sure I'm not. Yeah, I don't see anything. I'll track him down. Hopefully he didn't go too far. And there he is. Let's just have a look and see what he's going to score. I don't think he's too big. He's probably like 185 is my guess. 182. That was close. Yeah, I think it was a little low. Probably like this area is where it looked like. Unfortunately, but that's not going to get our mission done, but I do think we're still going to end this video off here and maybe get that one done another time. All right, so despite not getting that last doll sheep mission done, we do have the money for our new 300 rifle and we're going to go ahead and buy that and that this rifle can take pretty well every animal in the game from coyote to bantang. So it's a pretty good mid-range rifle, super powerful, good for pretty much anything you'd need it for. The thing I really like about it is the fact that it shoots really straight. It's a really nice gun for new players. You don't really have to adjust for ballistics or anything. You can kind of just hold right on your target. And it's just a nice rifle all around. So that's the rifle that I decided to buy for this beginner guide. I believe that with the Snakebite and the 300, you're pretty well set. Okay, so as I was saying, I do believe with the 300 rifle and the snake bite that a new player has most of the resources they need to enjoy pretty well the entire game. There's really, like, you can hunt everything with those two weapons. Obviously, you don't have your tents and your tree stands. But, I mean, there's always other people's maps. Although, I know that multiplayer hunting 
with people you don't know. It can be a little iffy in this game. But I do believe that this is going to unofficially mark the end of our beginner series. You kind of got the gear you need to get a good handle on the game. And I mean, obviously, this whole series, by now, I'm sure you've kind of got the gist of... It, it's just doing missions to make the money. I've kind of showed off the packs that are easier. Some of the other ones that are easier that we didn't touch would be... Well, I think we, we touched all of them except probably the pheasant pack is an easy one that we never covered. We did the white tails, the Roosevelt's, and obviously we've been doing the doll sheep and the snowshoe. So I think I've pretty well covered most of the basics. So I think this will be the end of our beginner series, at least for now. I don't know. I might come back to it and touch on some other stuff. But for now, I think that's going to mark the end. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.